Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a sheet metal part model in Autodesk Inventor software and learn the sheet metal basic commands. So let's get started. Go to new, take a sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch. Here we'll select the exit plane. So this will be the top plane, rotate the view. Here take the rectangle command and we will take two point center rectangle. Select this center point and make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. Define the dimensions here. The horizontal dimension will be 130 mm and the vertical dimension also 130 mm. Okay. Now finish sketch. Now here, go to sheet metal defaults. We'll define the sheet metal thickness first. Uncheck this. And here we'll write 2 mm and apply. Exit. Now go to face command. So it will provide the sheet metal over here and press OK. So this will be the base of the sheet. Now we'll construct the other parts. Now here go to the flange command and take flange height of 130 mm. And here go to edge selection. Select this top edge and select this top edge. Okay, zoom out. So this will be total height of 130 mm. Apply. Now here will remain in the flange command only. Select this inner edge and here also select this inner edge. Now here we'll take half of 130 minus 1. So it will be 64 mm. Okay, if you take the total half so it will join the sheet and it will make a close profile so you would not be able to open the sheet profile here now press ok now here go to part 1 now we are going to make this whole profiles go to part 2 select this face go to create sketch rotate the view now go to circle command and select this center point the yellow point make one circle here and from this same center point, make another circle. Go to dimension. Define this diameter here as 80. Okay. And the inner diameter as 40. Now go to circle command once again. Here make one circle of diameter 12. Now go to vertical constraint. Select this center point. Select this center point. It is constrained. Now escape, select this circle and make it a construction unit. So this will be a pitch circle diameter. Okay, go to circular pattern, select this circle, go to axis, select this. So it will be an axis here, a count of 6 we will take and press OK. Now go to sheet metal, take cut, select all these profiles one by one and select this metal profile. Go to home view and here we will take cut up to thickness a depth of 2 mm and press OK. Okay. Now here select the side face, go to create sketch. Here take the rectangle command, take two point rectangle here. Make a two point rectangle, go to dimension. From top edge, this will be at a distance of 35. Similarly, this side, this will be at 35, from bottom also 35 and from this side as well 35, okay. So this will be a basically offset of 35 from all the sides. Go to 3D model, take extrude, select this face, take here cut and here we will take all. So this will be a through cut. Press OK. Now here, go to part 1. We have this flange profiles also. So go to part 2. Take flange profile. And here, take a flange distance of 35 mm. Go to edge selection. Select this outer edge. Rotate the view. Select here this outer edge. Now press OK. Go to home. 
Now here, go to corner chamfer. Take here a distance of 10 mm. Go to corner selection. Select this, select this. Rotate. Select this and select this. Now press OK. Now select this face. Go to create sketch. Rotate the view. Now here, we will take the slot profile. So take center to center slot. Make a center slot here. Similarly, we are going to make here. Okay. Now go to dimension. Define this height here as 40 mm. And the radius of the slot will be 3 mm. And from this edge, the center will be at a distance of 15 mm. Okay. Now go to horizontal constraint, select the center point, select the center. Now go to equal constraint, select this radius and select this radius, select this center line and select this center line. So these both will become equal dimension slots. Escape, drag this inside, go to dimension. From this outer edge, the center will be at a distance of 15. Okay. Now go to equal constraint, select this radius and select this. Okay, we have done this. Skip. Okay. Go to horizontal constraint, select the center point and select the center. Now these are fully constrained sketches. Finish sketch. Go to 3D model, take extrude, select both the profiles, take here cut and press OK. So this will be a cut profile over here, both the sides. Now here, we will work with the bottom profile now, rotate the view, select this face, go to create sketch and here, go to the slot and here we will take two point center rectangle. Select this center point, make a rectangle here of dimension 75, tab 75 mm, okay. Go to sheet metal, take here cut. Go to home. Here we will take a cut of thickness 2 mm and press OK. Now here go to the flange profile. For flange profile go to sheet metal again. Take flange profile. Select this bottom edge. Rotate. And here select this bottom edge. Here the height will be of 30 mm and press OK. OK. Now here go to ch corner chamfer, we are taking corner chamfer of 10, select this, select this, rotate, select this end and select this end. Similarly, select this inner profiles, rotate, rotate the profile by clicking shift, select this, select this inner profile and select this inner profile. Now press ok, go to home. So this will be the complete profile. Now we want to make the flat pattern. So just click on create flat pattern. So it will generate the flat pattern of the sheet. Okay. So it will give you the blank size of the sheet. Go back to the folded part. And from here we will define the appearance. I will take a blue wall paint glossy. Okay. So this will be the final profile. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.